Jake! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude! That would have been so much cooler if you actually made the shot. Oh. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Jake, you all right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, just uh, need a second. Hey, right here, man. Thanks, man. Oh, dang. Hey, give it up, man. I know you're just trying to score sympathy points with Tessa, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> well, shoot. Never mind. I guess I gotta try the whole faking an injury thing. Man, I wonder if that works. <laughs> All right, to the line, Jake. Let's go. going on. This is taking forever. Patience, Jake. I have practice in an hour. Coach has been all over me for missing the past few days. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've been looking over Jake's images and biopsies. I wish I had better news. Jake has Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease? I've never... I've never heard of it. It's a chronic autoimmune disease which causes narrowing and scarring of the intestinal lining. If left untreated, it can cause blockages and a host of other health issues. <laughs> okay, I mean, this has to be a mistake. I mean, I'm not sick. Jake. What? I mean, I was sick, but I feel fine now. That's the way it is with chronic illnesses. You can feel fine for weeks or months at a time and then you have too much fast food or your stress levels go up, and then suddenly you're faced with an episode that knocks you off your feet. I know it sounds scary, but with the right course of treatment, I'm sure that we can knock this disease into remission. Meaning you can cure him? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, there is no cure. This is an illness that Jake will have to deal with for the rest of his life. What we can do is mitigate the symptoms. And what are the symptoms exactly? Uh, bloating, abdominal pain, sometimes severe, diarrhea, bleeding, and sometimes surgery is necessary to cut out the block portion of the body. Dude, did you hear? Sonia has epilepsy. <laughs> yeah, she literally had a seizure during biology. <laughs> there he is, the missing man. How you feeling? You know, fine. Fine, that's all I get. You've been out of school for three days. You know, I, I just I had the, the flu. You know my mom, dude, she's a warrior, man. Yeah, I get that. Well, look, dude, I'm happy you're back. We suck without you, and I really want to beat Central this weekend for our first practice game. Dude, those guys are the worst. Yeah. Look who's back. I've been worried about you. Where have you been? I just had the flu. Oh, so we're still on for the movie tonight? Kidding me? No way I'd miss it. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, come on, not to hate on my game. Oh yeah, you're a real ladies' man. It only took you eight years to ask her out and get your first date. <laughs> you all right, man? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Meet you in class. All right, for sure, dude. Good to see you. Come on, Jake, you call that hustle? Oh. All right, three-man weave. Sean, set him up. Jake! Oh. Come here. 
What's up, coach? My blood pressure watching you dog at the whole practice. What's going on with you? You're usually my best player and a captain. Uh, Are you okay? You can talk to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, coach. I've just been out of it for a couple of days, you know, trying to get back into it. I'm fine, I promise. Are you better be. That scout from Cornell is coming to the Central Practice game just to watch you play. Yeah. You know how many favors I had to cash in to get him out here? We're talking some major groveling. That's amazing. Oh my. Thank you, coach. You want that scholarship you're always going on about? You got a ball out Saturday. No more of this, whatever this is going on with you. Okay. All right. Go on. Ah, oh, my baby boy. So handsome. You look good. Wish I felt like it. This medicine is killing me. I, I know it's not easy. No, you don't know, Mom. Well, then tell me about it, Jake. It's not healthy to keep it inside. Remember what the doctor said about stress being a trigger for your condition? Don't call it that. You need to talk to someone about this. Have you told Sean or any of your friends about what's happening yet? What? No, of course not. Do you know how much crap they'd give me? Pun intended? Not funny. Oh, come on, it's a little funny. All I'm saying is it can be stressful to keep such a big secret. It's not the stress, okay? It's the stupid medicine. Side effects are worse than the disease. I'm always tired, but the meds won't let me sleep. I have constant headaches, and I get winded after only a few minutes on the court. How am I supposed to live like this? One way might be to let your friends know what's happening, honey. They can help you if you let them. You don't get it. I can't do that. Okay, well, the doctor said the side effects will wane once your body gets used to the medication. You just have to stick to the treatment plan for now. Okay, we should get a move on. You don't want to keep Tessa waiting. Hey, something's wrong. Should I go get somebody? No. Honestly, I'm fine. I just, uh, use the bathroom. That's all. Be right back. Hey, man, you okay in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, you've been in there a long time, and I really need to go. The other stall isn't working. Um, well, go, go find another one. I'm not getting up.
Mom? Hey, um, there's something really wrong. Uh, there's lots of blood in the bowl. Can you come get me? Honey, it's gonna be okay. The doctor said this flare-up will pass. It was probably triggered by something you ate or maybe the stress from you hiding. Not this again, please. We shouldn't rule it out. You're keeping a massive secret from everyone in your life that would weigh anyone down. You're gonna have to tell them sometime, sweetie. Are you serious? I'm never gonna tell them. It's way too embarrassing. I don't wanna be known as the kid with a disease, especially this one. Honey. And what if coach tells the scouts? Then I'll never be able to play college ball. No, this has to be kept quiet. You're not being fair to your friends. Real friends will be there for you. They will help you carry this burden, I promise. But only if you let them in. I don't wanna let them in. I don't wanna be sick. I just want to be normal. Oh, honey. You are normal. Clearly I'm not. It sucks and it's just not fair. Gosh. Shot counts, and one. Yes, nice shot, man, nice shot. Jake, you okay? Oh. Jake. Medic, medical, we need medical. Okay, just breathe easy for me. What happened out there? Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, it's just his Crohn's. I'm sorry, I figured your team already knew. What's he talking about? Look, I've been keeping something from you guys. I have this thing called Crohn's disease and the meds have been really hard to adjust to. So that's what this has been about? You could have told me. My sister has that. She does? My uncle has it too. Stepmom has it. It's a lot more common than you'd think, Jake. Yeah, I could have helped you more if I knew. I wish you told me. Being sick is nothing to be ashamed of. I know, I just, I didn't want you guys to look at me differently. Come on, Jake. We've all been through everything together. You really think we turn our backs on you now? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. So can you play in the second half or what? We're getting hammered without you. Uh, I mean, uh, I feel better, but there's no way I'm going out there. I'm way too embarrassed. I can't even imagine what everyone's thinking right now. Dude, who cares? We got your back, okay? What difference does a bunch of strangers' opinions make? It's like that old quote, those who mind don't matter, those who matter don't mind. So are we gonna get this win or what? Let's get this done. Let's go. Let's go. Hey yo, smell that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Tessa, you came. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to after you ghosted me at the movies, but then I heard about your accident and I just want to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Is what happened have anything to do with the movies? Why wouldn't you just tell me? I don't know. I was just scared that maybe you'd look at me differently because I'm sick. Really think I'm that shallow? Hey, Jake. 
Great job out there. I'm Carl with Cornell. It is an honor to meet you, sir. Cornell has been my dream school. Um, just so you know, what happened earlier was no reflection of- I don't care about that. If anything, it shows me just how much of a warrior you are. I'd love to talk to you about playing for us, if you have time. Yes, uh, absolutely. I'd love to. I hope I didn't ruin my chance at a second date. Um, maybe let's redo the first one first. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>